I just love it. I love having time set aside to be in nature and to actually engage with the material that I'm just learning behind laptop screens and other classes. It's a world of difference and I just love being able to connect with my peers as well. So we're out here on Horse Island today with my class, uh, Invertebrate Zoology. Yale has owned Horse Island for about 60 years, and it's been used for a variety of research studies, people studying uh, the plants and animals that are, are out here. This class had a very traditional format. There was a lecture that would have 90 or so people in it. Uh, this year I wanted to do something a little bit different. I figured why not just have all of Thursday out here at Horse Islands. It is an opportunity to meet the animals on their own terms uh, and to engage in a spontaneous way with the material. I'm so brave, I'm so brave. <laughs> it has meant a lot to be able to see the real life application of the things that I'm learning and what I'm working towards. And when I saw this course and I saw how much it was based in actually being in the field and observing specimens and collaborating, I just was like so in love with the idea of that and taking advantage of the fact that we are so close to the coast, which I feel like Yale students sometimes forget. It might come as a surprise that we actually don't know which species of animal live uh, in Long Island Sound. So the students year after year that we've offered this class and they've been coming here, uh, we've been building a species list. And then we can bring them back to the Peabody Museum uh, where we're working um, with the specimens to describe their anatomy, we're cataloging them, we're making them available to other researchers, but then also we have an incredible genomics facility that allows us to sequence the whole genomes of the animals and work with those. We talk about the diversity of marine invertebrates, not only to understand uh, the specific species that are out there, but to examine general trends and how evolution works, how evolution has converged on similar solutions uh, to similar problems multiple times. And actually, most of what we know about humans comes from the study of other animals. But there's lots of things that other animals do that humans don't do. And so by studying marine invertebrates, we get a much broader understanding of what an animal can even be. Understanding the way that we are coexisting with life around us is like the basis of empathy and the basis of change. And so to have a strong connection with our local environment, I think is such a beautiful like motivating factor in caring for the environment around us and in continuing to pursue a path of protecting and educating others about what resources we have so near to us.